to give you guys a quick uh, demonstration of uh, why I pick one over the other. You can see that both optics are functioning. And I'm going to go ahead and show you guys some snow. We're going to go ahead and toss number one in there and toss number two over. So we'll go ahead and dust this off like we would if we were in the field. I'm going to try and get that lens as clear as possible so I can get my, <laughs> get my rig back and running. Well, I got it good that time. Why don't you guys take a look at that? You guys see an emitter going on in there? You don't see anything because the emitter itself has been blocked by snow, which is turning into ice. I'm going to clear that out. You guys can see the emitter lit up over there. Let's see if we can pick it up. You got a faint emitter dot right there. It's going to bloom a little bit because you got condensation. You got moisture all over this, so it's going to bloom a little bit. 509T. Uh, you can substitute it with any other closed emitter, I believe. Couldn't get it that clear. But let's see if we got a dot. Uh, we got a nice clear dot right off the bat. And there's condensation and there's still moisture on both the objective and the ocular lens. But you're getting a nice crisp dot. You can see through that and you can uh, right, break off shots pretty well with that. Well, we've got an RMR equipped. Uh, 917 over here you guys can confirm that we got a dot going on in there you got a dot and then we've got my Apache with the dot over there so I'm gonna take both of these guys and uh, drop them 917 you guys can see it's kind of covered with snow let's see if shooting it will clear out that uh, snow and get this dot working Uh, we got some more. Nothing. All right. We got no dot. Wipe off the objective and ocular lenses like I would in the field. And there we got the semblance of a dot. Let's go ahead. There you go. So. Take a look at that. We got dot. Now I can actually even use the dot. 